Joined now on the Boardwalk Honda Hotline by Sixers guard T.J. McConnell, kind enough to join us here on the Sports Fest. T.J., welcome. Thank you, pal. How you doing? Hey, I'm doing great. Uh, thanks for having me. TJ, we're thrilled to have you, and boy, how times change, you know, uh, Mike Gill said to me we were going to have you on, and the first thing I chuckled about and thought was, two years ago, there was some worker that wanted to charge you 10 bucks to get into Xfinity Live after the game, and you're like, no, I played, like your dad had to be like, he played, look at where you are now, I mean, can you just talk about that journey from, it's 10 bucks, and now, you, you're, you're got a key to the city. Yeah, um, I try not to think about, you know, getting charged into Xfinity. I, I kind of look back at it and chuckle. And, um, you know, I've I've said this a thousand times. It's it, it's it's amazing where we've where we've come from since my rookie year to now. And you just got to give all the credit to you know the people that have been through it and and Coach Brown and the coaching staff and the fans. The fans have stuck by us since day one and I can't say enough good things about him. Hey TJ, you know the scene in the locker room the other night, I mean that you don't see that in a pro game too much. I mean the way you guys just, you know, I guess it's a culmination of everything you guys have been through, but I guess it also shows number one, how much you guys respect the coach and number two, how much you guys understand what you've all been through. Yeah, um you know there's not many locker rooms like ours and you know, it looked like we won an NBA championship uh, the way we were, you know, showering Brett. But he deserves it. Like, everyone just is so happy for him. You know, he – I like to say that he signed up for a job that he knew his coaching record would would never – unless he wins 60 games for the next five years, his coaching record will suffer for it. And he didn't care. He, he saw the bigger picture in this and – and we're kind of seeing that uh, come through now. Yeah, and like obviously, you know, you and Robert Covington have really been, uh, and Joel, I mean, who wasn't really playing a lot at the time, he was out hurt, but I always say it's interesting for guys like you and Robert that probably wouldn't have been given the opportunity to get the minutes that you got, but because the, you know, the, the pressure wasn't there so much to say, you need to go out and win night in and night out or else, I think it was a great way to help uh, groom and, and find guys like you. And I guess you and Robert probably have a pretty special kind of, uh, you know, couple stories that have navigated you to this point. And, and Rashawn, too. Like, uh, all three of us, um, we talk about, you know, kind of the opportunity that was at hand for all of us. And, you know, it, and I talk about it all the time. If I go anywhere else to try to make an NBA roster, I'm not sure – I'm in the NBA right now, so it's it's all about timing, and and I thank the Philadelphia organization for giving me an opportunity. I know Cov and Rashawn feel the exact same way. Yeah, and, and it's a great point that you know one of the things that uh, uh, this organization really you know had a plan they set out, and you know I'm sure there were nights it was very tough. I mean, were there times where you guys were in that locker room like, man, is this really going to work, or was it always kind of a a feeling that man we like behind the scenes because we never got to see Joel really um, that you always feel like when this works it's going to be amazing but were there times where you question that yeah absolutely um my rookie year you know the 10 games the 10 win season was it was really hard but we fought every game and um you know it it, it was tough and in last year you know we started off slow and then in January, you, you kind of said to yourself, uh, this this thing could go up if we just add a few more pieces. And, and Brian did a great job adding pieces this summer, and um, it, it, it's taken off from there. I know this year has been really cool. I mean, 52 wins, you get to the playoffs. But in your NBA career, I mean, I know the shot you made against the Knicks probably stands out, but was there a moment – so far in your career that you kind of look at and say that has been you know something I never expected um you know I, 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 it's hard it's hard to pinpoint one thing I mean you bring up the the buzzer beater against New York but it, it's hard to it's hard to not think about where we were my rookie year and and now we're playing in the second round and uh it's it's incredible. I mean, I think that is 
I think people expected us to be fairly good this year, but not as good as we're playing. Now, you've been in the league a couple of years. you got a lot of young guys, but are you surprised at how advanced some of the young guys who haven't been in the league? Now, I know Ben was around last year, but, I mean, do you learn things from even guys that are younger than you? Yeah, um, you know, Ben's poise is, is, is incredible, <laughs> and there, there's not many things I can learn from him from a talent skill-wise because he's a – he is a special player. Um, you can't teach the stuff that him and Joel do. So it's hard to pick up stuff from guys like that. But you see the mental side of their game and how poised they are as just being a rookie and a, a second-year guy. It's, it's pretty impressive. Uh, TJ McConnell is our guest. Now, uh, Boston, Milwaukee, I'm sure that uh, you guys would like the home court. But those Sixer Boston series back when we were all growing up uh, were pretty special. Do you uh, – have a preference uh, do you guys think you match up better with one of these teams you know it's it, it's weird it, it's the playoffs and every team is going to give you their best shot no matter who it is and um you know we just have to take on you know whoever wins if it if it's boston i think we're getting on a plane tomorrow and heading there and getting ready to play them if it's milwaukee we, we obviously would like home court but um you know we're not going to be so focused on that so Either way, we just got to be ready and come out and play. All right, T.J. McConnell here. And if the uh, Celtics win tonight, you're right, you'll be on a plane, and you'll be playing Saturday night at 8 p.m., and we'll have that game live on 97.3 ESPN. Uh, and by the way, we had people tweeting to us before you came on. They want to make sure, uh, you know, you got to get out there and slap that floor <laughs> defensively, get everybody going for those, uh, you know, when you're out there. And uh, the, the, the energy in that crowd, we were there the other night, man. It was an unbelievable atmosphere uh, on, what was that, Tuesday night. So, uh, they, they, you know, the, the crowd, they feed off of guys like you, even though, you know, you might have the, the, you know, your minutes are down right now. But when you get those six, seven, eight minutes, man, those people recognize it. So can you give them a slap of the floor? I got you. I mean, I'm just trying to, <laughs> just trying to show the the people that I'm I'm still out there and I'm I'm working my butt off for them, and uh, I'll give them a nice floor slap. They will. No, they know you're slapping the floor. It's funny. About four, three years ago, I guess your rookie season in that ten win season, I was at a game. We're down on the floor, and something was going on. I don't know what the heck was going on, but after one of the games. And you're out there, shaved head. I mean, you looked all the 15 years old at the time. Big book bag on. And I'm thinking about seeing you playing in these playoffs and where you were at that time. It is truly, I think your story uh, of all of them is a really awesome story. So we appreciate you spending a couple minutes with us. Of course. And, you know, thanks for you guys always sticking with us. I mean, it, it, w it would have been easy to turn your back on us when we won the 10 games. But, I mean, you guys have been great. So anything for you guys.